Hey people, Frank Semen here doing a video on uh, small engine modification. This topic will be about uh, PVC systems, how to modify them to where you don't need a catch can. Uh, you guys race these motors and a situation arises where you get rid of the governor or you up the governor's speed and you have a problem with oil coming out of a PVC valve which in turn dumps into the carburetor which gets sucked into the motor and so on and so forth and the result is engine slope plus loss of oil. I'm going to show you how to modify the system without using a catch can. Catch cans are a real good idea but the downfall of running a catch can is the oil that gets dumped into them doesn't go back into the motor. So that's the downfall of running a catch can. It's still a good idea, but I'm going to show you how to modify the engine to where you don't need a catch can. I've been doing it for years. Never had a problem with it. Never had a reason to put a catch can on a motor. But my APU does have one. I tried that first before I actually figured out how to do this modification and the catch can was actually too small, it didn't catch all the oil, and it still overflowed the catch can, and which forced me to rethink the whole system and modify it to where you don't need it. Ever since I did the modification, never had a problem with that motor again. Uh, it's got a real small catch can on there, I'll show you that setup at the end of the video, or somewhere in the video, on how I did that one. But for now, we're going to start with uh, discussing on how the system actually works because you got to know how the system works in order to modify it. Okay, let's talk about the engine blocks first and what this mod will apply to. Uh, on the left here, I have the Tecumseh. That's a six horse and a Briggs and Stratton. That's a two horse. Both of these are horizontal shaft motors, but this will apply to horizontal and vertical shaft engines. Uh, also, it will cover the engines that have the oil pump and the Tecumsehs, because basically the principle for the system still applies to that on how the system gets oiled. Also, the overhead valve engine blocks for Briggs and Stratton will also apply for that. Uh, this is the part you're going to be modifying so if the engine has one of these on there this modification will apply to that motor. This is your PVC valve or valve cover or I don't, I don't know what you call this thing but this is the part that you'll be modifying so if the engine has that part Uh, this is a te the Tecumseh version. Okay, that's the engines that this is going to apply to. Okay, let's talk about the oil systems of these motors, whether it's uh, an oil pump or a dipstick type. Uh, basically, the oil is being flung around with the engine running. Uh, that's how the engines get lubricated inside the crankcase. Also, you have a piston moving up and down, uh, which is shrinking and expanding the space, which is creating uh, a pressure and a suction. Also, you're having blow-by from the piston rings. you got to take that in consideration, even though that is minute, depending on how good your piston rings are, but it's still happening. So, you have the oil being splashed around in this chamber and you're having air moving in and out of the engine this is going to create an air oil soaked mist this is what the PVC controls it's actually an oil air separator which removes the oil from the air so it'll allow the air to enter and exit the engine without the oil leaving the engine 
yeah, it's actually an oral air separator. <laughs> Boy, that's a mouthful. Okay, let's talk about the pathway of this oil soaked air moving through the motor. Uh, the path that it takes during the pressure and the suction is through this area right here. This area is where your valves are. You got your valve springs, your valves, and your valves coming up from the camshaft. And the oil soaked air moves through this hole. You have this hole in different spots depending on what kind of motor you have, but the engines have this big hole maybe a little hole in addition to this but that hole is still there and if you notice on the Spriggs and Stratton motor it has a splash guard protecting that hole as compared to this Tecumseh it has a, a little shield but it looks like the valve casting is, is helping with that you don't want the actual oil being flung into that little chamber. You want the oil soaked air entering the chamber that has the valves. And this engine also has the little hole you see with the rod going through showing the hole and you can see where it is on that end the inside of that motor. So this chamber is being oiled with that oil soaked air lubricating the valves and the valve springs to keep the valve system from seizing up. Okay. Okay we're at the point where the oil soaked air is lubricating the valve train and now it needs to exit the engine and return into the engine. That's where the PVC valve comes into play. When this gets overworked that's when it starts squirting oil out of it and starts creating mayhem. I'm going to show you how to modify this part to where that doesn't happen. Okay, let's go into uh, detail of the PCV valve. Uh, first look, you notice the big hole. This big hole is a one-way check valve. When the oil-soaked air enters it, it goes through a series of baffling and a filter inside and then exits the tube. That's how it separates the oil from the air through the baffling and the filter. Now when the oil separates from the air, it drops down to the bottom and only air exits the engine. Now when the engine is sucking the air back into it, it takes a different path. It does not take the same path through this. This is a one-way check valve, so the path when it goes in takes a different path going back into the engine which is little drain holes on the bottom of this. That's the part you need to modify. You need to make these holes bigger. Uh, these holes are as you can see or as you can't see they're so tiny that's how they get overworked and how this thing fills up with oil and it starts puking it. So you need to make these holes bigger to make these holes bigger you need to disassemble the PCV valve drill bigger holes and put it back together you need to keep in mind how it comes apart and goes back together because there is an upside and a downside if you get it wrong it'll still have that problem if not make it worse so when you pull these apart uh, make sure you put them back together the same way they come apart make marks say only put marks on the top half of every part that comes out uh, 
each PCV valve is different. Uh, this is completely different from a 10 horse. This one is actually a can stuck onto a, a plate. But the insides are pretty basic. There's baffling and there's a filter that separates the oil from the air, which collects on the bottom. So when the air gets sucked back into it, it does not go through this hole. It gets sucked through these little tiny holes down here, which are the holes that you need to make bigger. Okay. Okay, I got the both both of the PCV valves taken apart. Let's look at the Tecumseh uh, version. Uh, here's the one-way check valve that I mentioned. Uh, it's part of the housing that goes on the inside of the motor. It's a little flapper valve is what it is. And then you have uh, a chamber. The chamber with the baffling usually comes out or is part of the inside half but that has a small drain hole too you want to make sure drain holes are on the bottom however it mounts uh, if you could see that's the drain back hole in this one this baffling is part of the oil air separation along with the screen the screen is like a scotch bright pad and it covers those holes and then you got the outside plate the outside plate is usually uh, uh, the exit hole it is usually in the center on top half where you want to make the holes bigger uh, the drain back hole on this Tecumseh one is in this corner over here There it is. There's the hole. That's the hole you need to make bigger. That's a, a pin size hole. I would at least make that hole uh, 3 16 drill bit bigger. You also need to drill out the hole in the baffle the same size. And that's how you would modify this type. This is the Tecumseh one. I'm sorry, this is the Briggs & Stratton PCV valve. This also has a, a filter in it, a Scotch-Brite type filter in there. It has the baffling. It has a downside, or I'm sorry, the bottom side. The bottom side has little pathways for the oil to move through it. Uh, would be noticed by the little slots cut into it or bent into it. Uh, the baffling, you could tell it's got baffling and this is the one-way check valve. It's just a flapper valve held in the place. To modify this kind, uh, determine which is the bottom. The oil pathways you want to enlarge. I would uh, bend these tabs up to make these holes on the inside bigger which is part of the baffling so you want to make the baffling holes bigger and then drill bigger hole in the housing on the inside of the housing for the oil to re-enter the engine and the outside plate you notice that the tube is on the top half so you're basically identifying the top half and the bottom half and you notice the bottom half has two indents for the low pathways so you know that's the bottom and you know this part has the bottom half by little slots in the bottom for the oil to drain back uh, you also like I said 
modify it by drilling a 3 16 hole on this bottom part right here. So when you put it together, it's got a bigger hole in the bottom here and take note on the gasket. The gasket has a, a top side and a bottom side too. Uh, notice two, the two humps on the bottom side is for those pathways. You want to make sure you put the gasket back on in the correct orientation for it to work correctly. Okay, when I come back I'll have the, the holes drilled and I'll put them back together. Okay, I drilled the holes. Um, took a couple pictures before and after on where I drilled the holes. I'll put them together now. You can see the holes. I made bigger. That's the idea behind this mod to make them drain back holes bigger so the oil goes through it quicker. Uh, like I said, the baffling and the filter uh, go together a specific way. Uh, it enters on this side goes to the side, up through the baffling, through the screen, and then over to this side again. So when you put it back together, you want to make sure the holes that you drilled stay on the bottom half. And also, between the baffling, you want to make sure you drill the holes that were, when you put the baffling back together, that you're not covering the holes that you drilled. Uh, the holes are in certain areas of the baffling like the holes I drilled in this bath in this part this is the inside half are on let's see if you split it in half it's on the most inner side because the baffling that I insert in here only goes in halfway so the holes that I drilled are on the back half. You want to make sure you get that right. Just pushes together. Uh, if you look at the holes, you probably notice that you can't see the baffling. That it's not being covered. Then the screen goes in there. You want to make sure you drill the holes and you try not to get them under the screen. I drilled two holes. One's on the outside, one's on the inside of that screen. And then this goes on. And that's That one's done. You want to make sure too when you drill the holes that you deburr everything. You don't want the metal shavings going back into the motor. That's why you got to pull it apart. You can't do it while this thing's together because when you drill, you're pushing through sheet metal and it puts a lot of burrs on the outside of the drilled hole so you got to get in there and you got to deburr the holes when I actually drill these holes I went from the inside out to make the burrs easier to get to on the outside and I just used the file to get rid of the burrs so the Tecumseh version is done and the Briggs version the Baffling. It's kind of hard to see in the reflection. The baffle, I just took a pick and enlarged the holes by bending them, and I drilled the hole on the bottom. You see the hole? When I put it together, that hole's going to be on the bottom to allow the oil to drain back to the motor quicker. And this goes together, the screen always covers the hole.
in the baffling. So you got the hole on the bottom. And then you figure out which is the bottom of the plate, which is this part because it's got the humps. Just turn it around. And then this one just pushes together. And you got the big hole. And that's how you do the mod. Uh, next I'll show you uh, how I did it on my APU. My APU I actually drilled extra holes in the engine block I, if I remember. This is identical to the APU engine. I drilled a hole down in here to allow more oil to get flung up inside here so I had an even bigger problem of separating the oil in the PCV valve but ever since I did the mod I did to this one right now I never had a problem after that okay okay we're at my APU motor uh, show you the valve area I don't know if you can see it but I actually There's a whole wall away in the back there between the valves that I drilled to help with the oiling so this space gets pretty filled with oil. Uh, it has a catch can on it which is this right here. I made this myself. It's a piece of piping conduit with two ends on there and I put a a tube for the vent and then the PCV valve instead of drilling two big holes I drilled a bunch of holes on the bottom of that this thing works so good it moves a lot of oil I was actually looking at the tube that connects this to the catch can and there's oil in it so it's working it's moving oil in and out of the motor with no problem you can see the oil dripping <laughs> so there's a little bit of oil in there so evidently you need at least a little catch can for it but yeah and that's the bottom half when I put it in there it goes in there like that and then the tube connects to that like so then you can see the line going up to the catch can and a catch can is on the top so if there's any oil getting blown up into it it will drain back into the motor and I won't lose any engine oil anything that gets past the PCV valve gets blown up to the catch can and it comes right back down and goes back into the motor that's how I got this one set up okay Okay, after looking at my APU, I noticed that uh, it's still spewing oil, but not that bad. Uh, PCV system seems to be handling it pretty good. Ever since I did the mod, I never had a problem with it since. Uh, before, it was filling that catch can completely up and just squirting it right out like it was under pressure, like a water hose. But ever since I did the mod, it's been uh, pretty good haven't had a problem since so the holes evidently are, are working um, after this video I'm going to post some pictures of me drilling the holes in the parts before and after shots so you know where to drill the holes uh, any questions rate the video comment subscribe thanks the man bye